with the announcement that Prince Joachim and Princess Marie of Denmark are moving with their family to the United States, they join the list of other royalty who have moved across the pond. So who are these kings who have moved, and what attracts European kings to living in the United States? Prince Joachim, Princess Marie, Count Henrik and Countess Athena will move to Washington in September while Joachim works as a defense attaché at the Danish embassy. They have not lived in Denmark for several years because Prince Joachim worked as an attaché in Paris. Princess Madeline of Sweden is married to an American-British financier, and with her family they lived in New York and Florida. Madeline first came to the United States in 2010 after she broke off her engagement to Jonas Bergstrom because of his infidelity. She moved to New York City, where she met Chris O'Neill. After their marriage in 2013, the family remained in New York, where their first child, Princess Leonor, making her the closest American to any throne, was born. They later moved to London before returning to the United States to live in Miami, Florida. This fall they will move to Sweden after five years of living in the Sunshine State. Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece married American heiress Marie Chantal Miller in 1995. They lived in Connecticut, New York, and California. All but one of their five children were born in the United States. Prince Odysseus Kimmon was born in London when the family resided there. The family lives in New York again, after the death of Pavlos' father, King Constantine, there were rumors that the family would move to Greece, but this turned out to be false. The most famous move to America is that of the Sussexes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their son Prince Archie moved to California after stepping down from royal duties in 2020. The couple's second child, Princess Lilybeth, Lily, was born in California in 2021, the family remains in the United States. Since arriving in the U.S., they have released a documentary on Netflix, podcasts, and a memoir.